Uh, hey guys, haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I'd look at some alternate designs that I've sort of come up with, even though these turn-ons are relatively old. I thought it would be cool just to look at them, to get ideas out there, and uh, if other people have tried, especially with this turn-on. I'm not sure if this design's been tried before, but I've tried to incorporate the anti-skate into the gimbal design without having to have some sort of cord coming out the back or anything like that. Uh, the first thing you'll notice from the horizontal plane, the gimbals rotated from what convention or, or how they are conventionally. The horizontal uh, bearings are at an angle and so are the vertical bearings. Now you might think this causes problem with the translation but as you can see in true horizontal translation both gimbals or both bearings have some degree of rotation which sum up to the horizontal movement of the actual styli tip. This little arm sticking out the front is attached to the inner gimbal so it can it follows the strange arc arc pass path and the crucial thing about that is that it gains height and loses height as the arm translates. So Logically, if we apply a weight to that arm, even if I just push down, we see the arm wants to rotate. So as the styli moves towards the center of the record, it's having to raise this weight, which is some amount of work being done. So we're creating the anti-skate force. I thought I'd grab a close-up of the bearings so that everyone can see that they are tilted. And you can get a close-up of how I did that arm design in there two small 3mm bolts clamp the anti-skate arm, as I call it, onto the inner gimbal and you can see the pinched ball bearings there, it's the bottom and the uh, outer gimbal and its mount with some 6 mils sticking it to the base it's quite simple, it is very large, I believe the outer diameter here is about 70 millimeters, but I'm not quite sure, I'd have to look at designs yeah, the head shell design on this is quite obviously flawed because it is just a little wafer and it is going to vibrate a lot but this was a primitive design and I have created much stronger head shells since then uh, which I might try and make another video of try and remind me uh, in basic construction, the entire thing is constructed out of aluminum the tube is from a Technics SL DQ2 or something like that I believe uh -huh quite a nice tone arm in its day but I had a broken one so I stole the arm. Uh, the inner and outer gimbal are aluminum, the bolts are custom made 6mm aluminum bolts with aluminum lock nuts for ultimate lightweight. Uh, it's mounted on this plain old aluminum base and it does have an angle adjust here so that you can set the head shell angle, oops come loose, so that you can set the tilt in case something gets damaged or the arm isn't as consistently manufactured as you'd hope you can set that up and then uh, by changing the weight you get your anti-skate uh, I'm not sure what current angle it's tilted to you could calculate it somehow but it's it's, it's unnecessary because you just change the weight once you have a tilt you just change the weight and you get the anti-skate but I wanted to put it out there because I wasn't sure if there's different designs or whether this design's been tried or if there's a reason why it hasn't been I'd be interested in knowing so uh, cheers